of Safety, Aubrey Burks. Questions for Aubrey? So, Aubrey, it's sort of the same start with that we just had with Zach. Just the excitement of game week. You, you've played, but do the juices still start flowing again? Uh, most definitely. Um, first game at Penn State, $100,000 uh, 100, crowd. Um, as a kid coming out of high school, playing, wanting to play college ball, just something you should be excited about. Um, as a player, as a team, you know, just, just living out your dreams, living out your goals, um, doing all the things that you, you know, you wrote down one day that you said you will accomplish. So the excitement for this game is really high. Um, definitely got to be composed, though, throughout this week. Just take it day by day until we get there. How much scouting at Penn State have you guys got into? Um, so we started a little bit last week, um, just just piece by piece, piece, by piece. Um, not going too much into depth. Um, today we kind of hit hard. Um, you know, doing 11 personnel, 12 personnel, just starting that. But um, we're pretty deep into it. So, you know, as you know, we keep practicing, we'll keep scouting them out. And by Friday, we should be ready. What jumps out at you with their offense? Say it again? What jumps out at you with Penn State's offense? Um, I, I would definitely say they're running backs, um, probably two of the top running backs um, in, in college football. But I see at least four of the top running backs in college football, from C.J. Donaldson to Justin Johnson to Jalen Anderson. To the running backs we got, so um, I give respect to their running backs. But I feel like you know, well, the backs we got, we see that um, size and that capability every day from our backs. Has there been a message from the coaches about you know, <clears throat> running through your tackling and making sure you you wrap up and get them to the ground because they can break tackles? Um, that message that message was set in February um, from last year when we had you know bad experience of tackling. So um, physicality was a thing that we wanted to be great at since February. And we're still hitting each other. Today, we was out there hitting each other as hard as we can just because we know how much um, this game going to be physical, how much a, uh, a full full season will be physical. So um, the physicality part, I feel like we've been hammering that since Jan I mean February. So um, just you know, running your feet through tackles, they're, they're big backs. So I feel like we will be prepared. How is this camp different from, for you? I mean, we heard a lot of coaches praise you um, that, that you've kind of made the jump this, this camp. Um, this count di was different for me than last year, mainly because I wanted to, um, you know, step up and be more of a leader, um, bring young guys with me, bring other guys with me, um, you know, learn from Coach Wright, um, dive deep into it. As he said, me and him meet every morning, every other morning, 6 a.m. or to 6.30, 6 a.m. And just my football IQ, I I IQ getting up um, more so. Just from last fall count to this fall count, I just feel like me as a leader just stepped up big time. And then my knowledge for the game has um, a big improvement. As a player, how do you approach playing a, a good so-called um, blue blood team? I mean, obviously, you know, they're predicted to do great things and you have to show them respect, but at the same time, you're out there to play and try to beat them. How do you balance that when you want to show them respect but have to go about your business? Uh, respect all and fear none. Um, I heard that as a kid. Um, so, you know, we respect who they are. Um, great team, but we can't fear them. Um, like Coach Brown said, we want to take the, the attack to them first. Um, and one thing I always heard since I've been playing football is he who hits first always wins. So I feel like if we bring it first, then they'll, they'll feel us and we'll, it, it'll be a great game. Bother you that you guys are a big underdog? Do you look um, at that at all? It... I, don't, I don't think it bothers us. Um, we know our back's against the wall. Um, I love it. Uh, like Coach Wright tell us, um, it's always good when somebody doubts you. Now you can go prove them wrong. So we know what we got to do to prove everybody wrong. Um, everybody in this, in this facility only believes in us, um, and that's all we need is everybody in this facility to believe in us. And if we got that, then we should be okay for this year. And as long as we stick together throughout the, the, throughout the year, we'll be just fine. Now, Coach Wright talked a lot about you know, kind of <coughs> putting pressure on you to if you do this, this, and this, you get to the league and through, from even before spring ball. How would, we've heard a lot from him and how he evaluated. How would you evaluate yourself from where you were last year spring fall to um from from last year um I would say that's my first year even though I was a sophomore last year it was my first year of truly um playing a full season um and so I uh, at times I was just out there floating around um sometimes I was I would do my own thing and now just you know diving into it um changing my mindset of how I want to learn how I want to learn the game of football and just you know seeing how NFL players approach the game just made me change my way um Bryce Ford Wheaton was one guy last year who I seen like made a big change. And once I seen the change that he made and how it paid off for him, I kind of like, man, I want to be in those those shoes that he, he was in. Um, 
and you know just take the steps that he took so i told myself like if 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 i want to make a change then i got to change as far as my iq got to get better uh, i got to bring my teammates with me and i just got to be more vocal um i had the respect last year from my teammates i just wasn't as vocal as i am now so me being more vocal um would definitely help our team and that's what definitely changed for me than last year just my my leadership my iq and just me being more vocal as a um teammate to my defense Were you a sloppy eater in high school? Have you improved upon that as you got into college? Uh, I wasn't a sloppy eater in high school. My favorite meal is cereal, by the way. Um, um, uh, Frosty Flakes or Fruity Pebbles. That's that's my top two. I throw Cinnamon Toast Crunch in there too. But um, nutrition uh, wise, I didn't. I, I wouldn't say I changed um, as far as because I wasn't a sloppy eater. Um, I had to improve of muscle, uh, more muscle, and, and lose a little bit of fat. Um, so when I got here, I was probably like 190-ish. Um, and, and talking with Haley and Coach Mike really helped me out, especially Haley, give a shout out to her. Um, I'm weighing in constantly at 200, 203, 204 every day. So um, I feel like with the help that Haley um, gave to me and what she talk, taught me as far as me eating outside of here, not there's just the food in here really helped. Um, I don't eat sloppy. Um, on the weekend, I might go to Five Guys. That's probably my spot. But other than that, I don't eat like too bad, like too sloppy. So, curious, can you um, take anything away from the preparation you had last year for Pitt? I know the crowd is probably going to be a little bit different. There's going to be more than there were last year, but there was a big crowd. It was a big hype atmosphere. Can you take anything away from how you prepared leading up to that game? Um, I would definitely say I'm more um, composed now. Um, you know, first game last year versus Pitt, I was like, I was hyped but nervous at the same time because it's like I'm starting, but my first start is versus Pitt. Like, this is a big game. So now, like, playing Penn State in front of 100,000, I'm more like keeping myself composed throughout the days go by. I'm just trying to te keep my team composed too. Uh, we know what type of environment we're going into, so we can't let that affect us as far as getting too hyped or, um, you know, just being afraid, you know. Some guys never seen 100,000 people in their life. So, you know, walking in the stadium, we might look like we're playing in the Super Bowl this week, this weekend. So just trying to keep everybody composed with help. But you had that against Texas last year. Um, versus Texas? Yeah. Uh, yeah it, it was 100,000, but, like, Penn State 100,000, I feel like it's going to be way different than Texas 100,000. Like, it's a night game, too, first game of the season. Like, it's going to be, it's going to be real loud, so. Different. Um, so, so with our defense this year, uh, we switched up a lot of things, less checks. I can't tell too much, um, too many secrets. But we have less checks to where we don't have to communicate as much. Um, communi communication is definitely needed. I feel like like with our practice today, we went in an indoor for this um, team period, turned the music up, had extra speakers in there just for um, offense and defense to communicate. And I feel like we did a great job today. So us taking it every day, um, going in that indoor, just turning the music all the way up will um, help us prepare for what we're going into. Um, so, so we've been trying to prepare for um, the quarterback that Penn State have. Um, like you said, he doesn't have a lot of tape, so we've been trying to look at other tendencies. Um, so looking at their receivers, their O-line, um, just, you know, small things that will help us. Um, one, one thing I've been looking at is the running backs, just because that's the value of their team. That's the most um, athletic position on their team, as far as I'll say. So me just looking at the running backs um, and other um, pieces as far as receivers and O-line will help me out. Once we get into game, um, as the drives go by, I'll, I'll try to figure out like what what the quarterback likes to do and stuff. But as of now, we don't we don't know too much about him. Have you seen all sixty pass attempts an hour made last year? Nah, not all sixty. No, no sir, no sir. Okay. Any shadow boxing? Any shadow boxing? Um, yeah, the whole team is playing. The whole team plays shadow boxing now from. The O line to the D line, they're probably shadow boxing right now. If we walk down to the locker room, they, they're probably shadow boxing right now. So um, that's definitely something that that, that keeps us hype. Um, just to keep your mind away from football, you know, going out to practice, just shadow boxing in the locker room, bring bring us together. So that's that's pretty cool. With the whole team playing now, 
I, I might be top five, but I haven't faced everybody, but I feel like I'm top five. I think so. Anthony Wilson, um, new. Is it difficult playing beside a guy that you didn't have a spring practice with? Are you comfortable with him yet? What's he bring? Nah, I'm definitely comfortable with Ant. Um, Ant comes in with me with Coach Wright. I don't know if Coach Wright mentioned that, but Ant starting to come in with me. I, like after practice today, he just asked me. He said, "When can we meet?" So um, me and him definitely had our communication. Uh, I love Ant. He's a great, great player, great um, guy outside of football too. Um, so you know, adding that piece really helps us. Uh, especially also Keyshawn Carr was another guy that that we added, and, and that's another value piece. Um, they're both really great players, and I'm happy we got them to have them in our back end. I mean, in his interview, he said he played like Carl Joseph. So that's that's what I'm going with. He played like Carl. He, he's not afraid of nobody. Um, he told me he told me one time he said like when a game starts, he just going like he just black out like he just going his own world and like he just no like just phys physicality like hit hit hit. And I was like, okay, that's what we need. <laughs> so Dante Wright mentioned there one of the, the you guys were doing half line pass. I think the first time he was there, and he just wiped out a guy along the sideline. Dante says, "Hey, we don't do that here." Yeah, yeah, half line. So we're not supposed to hit in half line because it's it's like a disadvantage to the offense. Um, so like I, I think it was like a vert ball going up the scene, and Ant just like said, "Forget about the ball and go hit the guy." And I was like, "Oh." Like, when I seen it, I was like, ooh, i never seen that since my time being here. So when he did that, I kind of knew, like, what type of player he was. Like, oh, yeah, he's one of those, like, who's not afraid of nothing. Does that kind of change the attitude of the defense when you got a guy like out there? It definitely does, yeah. Um, so Lee Coble was a guy last year who kind of yeah. added that physicality last year. But now Ant, Lee, and then Keyshawn, also a guy who, who's real physical. And that's just bringing everybody along. Even our corners are being more physical now. And Coach Leslie, just him harping on physicality, we hit each other like every day. Like this is nonstop, just hitting each other hard. And, and if it's not a good rep, our coach make us do it over. So just, you know, them, you know, applying that every day is, is really helping us with our physicality. How would you describe, and maybe it is that, the physicality, the vibe around the defense, especially the secondary, because it seems like from hearing you guys, communication, physicality, fundamentals, you feel a lot better about all of that. Um, from last year. Yeah, we, we definitely feel a lot better, mainly because, we've been, like I said, we've been doing this since February. Um, even in our summer practice, OTAs, like, we just practice. We probably don't take each other to the ground, but we, we're going through our fists, just studying each other just as, as soft as we can. But, you know, just going through it day by day since February really helped us a lot. And even in February, with our um, since we put our new defense in in the spring, like, we've just been constantly, like, going over the playbook together, making sure we all on the same page. So um, us, you know, just keep applying um, – the stuff that Coach Leslie talked about um, since we got back um, in December, going through all the way until now, really helped us out to the point we at now. How different is the secondary compared to going into pit last year, where when Charles went down, it was kind of a, a crisis. Yeah, how different is the group going into this game? I would say more more people are trying to um, be a leader. Um, just you know, us helping each other out every day, um, giving us confidence every day. That's that's the big difference. Last year, Charles Wood was our true leader in the secondary. Then with him getting hurt um, in the first game, kind of hurt us bad. But Keyshawn came in. He's even vocal. Ant came in vocal. Um, Montre Miller, Beanie Bishop, all those guys came in and with a vocal voice. Um, they know when to uh, step in and say something and not to say something. So just having everybody, you know, giving everybody confidence throughout our secondary is, is mainly the biggest difference. I know before they lightened your load in camp, um, you were making a, a pick, it seemed like, every – practice, maybe two or three. What's changed for you that's enabled you to, to be more of a ball hawk than maybe you have been in the past? Those videos with Coach Wright. Okay. That, that's exactly what – that's that's why I'm making those plays is because of, of him. Those videos with him, um, him helping me recognize my play recognition um, before the ball is snapped is the reason why. So um, I definitely give credit to Coach Wright, a great coach. Um, I love that coach, man. What was he, what, I mean, was just playing your keys? Was it just things that you were maybe not – paying attention to before that you're now paying attention to? Um, me, me just slowing down, just not just not being too fast, um, understanding our defense more. That's the main thing. First, you got to understand what you're doing, like my job. Um, I pretty much know at least all 11 positions on, on our defense. So me understanding what I got to do and where my piece is at helps me play even faster. You mentioned uh, Anthony's gotten in on your meetings. How long until it's just the whole position meeting at 6 a.m.? 
Say, say it one more time. How long until just the whole group is in there with him at 6 a.m.? So my last meeting with Coach Wright um, was we had our mock game, and then the next day we had a, um, a regular day as far as coming in for lunch. And I asked Coach Wright, what time do we want to meet? It was a later start, so we met at 11 a.m. So I sent the message out to the um, majority of our safeties, and um, Ant, Keyshawn, and all those boys was in there. And like I said, Ant just asked me just now, do you want to meet tomorrow and stuff? So I think he kind of understand, like, him coming in and meeting helps him play faster and, and helping us play as a, a as a whole together more, like being better. So every day, as, as every chance that Ant gets to come in, he, he's doing it. And, and Keyshawn, um, Marcus Floyd been hurt, so he haven't um, been able to come in because um, of treatment and everything like that. But I'm trying to get the Spurs now to come in just to, just so we can all be on the same page and then hopefully linebackers. And then now you have the whole back seven coming in to meet early morning and then get another meeting in before practice. So now we're gaining more knowledge um, and knowing more about our opponent. That's one for me. Um, if you When you study Penn State, is there a offense that you play that – Maybe a little similar, or is there any similarities you can see with anything, any of the teams that you played? Um, so I'll say our run game um, from our offense is kind of similar to theirs. Um, that's what I'll say. Um, that's pretty much about it. Their pass game, um, it's a little different um, than everybody else's. Um, not not difficult, but it's just different. Um, I feel like we'll be prepared for it, but mainly our, their run game is compared to our run game. So so as far as the same schemes and stuff, we kind of been doing since the start of fall camp. So we pretty much um, kind of got the same similar offense as far as running the ball. Yeah, it's pretty easy there if you're going to see the same guys every day, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, anything else for Auburn? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you all.